people with little of nothing this flood took it all. I just want to get out of here. I don't even feel safe here. Hurricane Matthew may be gone, but cleanup is far from over. Take a look at this new video from North Carolina. Parts of cities are still underwater. Imagine battling swift currents to rescue people in an area you've never been before. That is exactly what Ohio's Task Force One members did in North Carolina after Hurricane Matthew. They are back now, and Nine on Your Side's Tom McKee was in Kettering when they came home. Six day mission was the first time that the task force was involved in swift water rescue, and the numbers speak for themselves. 75 people rescued from 49 separate buildings. Weary after two hours of sleep a night for a week, the members of Ohio Task Force One came home to Kettering Wednesday, tired but fulfilled. Their mission was to help the people of North Carolina who had little time to escape the swiftly rising floodwaters after Hurricane Matthew. They were called into action very quickly. Within Six hours of rolling in North Carolina, we were on a pretty swift water area that had been flooded in the neighborhood, and we're able to get four people that have been trapped in their house for the past six hours in shoulder deep water. Mike Lotz of the Cincinnati Fire Department says years of training paid off. I'm not going to lie to you, it felt amazing. Jeff Newman of the Sycamore Township Fire Department recalls many elderly people being saved, some in wheelchairs, some using walkers. All were in great danger. There was a, a gentleman in a house. Um, he was half in the water, half on his couch, had hypothermia, hypoglycemia, and uh, we had a medical team member there in the boat with them at that time that they were able to get this gentleman, bring him back, bring him back to shore. Like Lotz and the other task force members, Newman says he's glad he was in the right place at the right time. Very tough, Tom, uh, but it was the most rewarding that this team has had in uh, quite a long time. Many of the task force members are going to get a little bit of sleep and then report back to their regular jobs, waiting for that next time the phone rings to spring back into action. Tom McKee, not on your side, Kettering.